hey and welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be setting up a main menu as well as display mesh so with that let's get started so to start off with we're going to head over to the maps and create a new level so this one is going to be called main menu and then we're going to open up the new level save selected and then by the selection mode we're going to change that to landscape we're going to scroll down a bit so it says section size i'm going to change this to seven by seven parts create new and then we are gonna go back to selection mode select that and then we're gonna set it to z0 and then we're gonna add a new light source we're gonna add a directional light for now and then we're also gonna be adding in a camera actor so all classes down here camera actor we're gonna have that for now save all and we're gonna head over to the blueprints so we're gonna create a few blueprints first blueprint we're creating right click blueprint class we're gonna create a game mode base and then this one we're gonna call it bp underscore main menu so this is just the game mode we're gonna use for the for this particular level and then we're also going to create a another blueprint class this one is going to be a player control and this is going to be bp underscore main menu controller and then by the world settings which says game mode override currently says none I'm going to select the bp main menu default point class we're going to set this to none and then the player controller class we're going to change that from player controller to the bp main menu controller we just created and then we're going to save all and then also we are going to create a new folder such as free space new folder we're going to call this display mesh and then in the display mesh open it and then right click blueprint cross we're going to look for a primary data asset select we're going to call this pda display mesh the method i'm using for this video comes from matt b's youtube channel i'll leave a link to the video and his youtube channel in the description we're going to open up the pda display mesh and then we're going to create two variables the first variable is going to be called display mesh and this is going to be of type skeletal mesh delta mesh object reference and then another variable this one is going to be of type porn i'm going to call it porn and then it's gonna be a pawn class reference compile save close that okay so after that we're gonna right click miscellaneous data asset and then the data asset we're gonna look for is the pda display mesh select and then we're gonna call this one da sports car so this one is gonna be for the sports car then we're gonna open it and then the display mesh we're gonna select the skm sports car the pawn gonna be the sports car phone we want to save close head back to the blueprints and then in here we're going to create another blueprint blueprint cross of type actor this is going to be bp underscore display mesh open it and then we're going to open the blueprint and then in here we're going to add a new component this component is going to be a skeletal mesh leave it as is and then for now we're going to set this to the sports car but we're going to remove it uh, in a lower bit and then from there we are gonna open up the bp main menu control we're gonna open up this one head over to the rank off and then in the event begin play we're gonna drag off and then look for set show mouse cursor set it to true after that drag off and then look for a sequence node and then from the then zero drag off get all actors of class the class we're creating is the camera actor camera actor from the out actors variable from multi variable I'm gonna call this cameras I'm gonna get all the cameras and then from the blue pin drag off look for length and then from the output pin drag off from multi variable and then amount of cameras pretty much the same as we have been doing for all the other ones just connect the execution pin and then we're gonna head down to the sequence mode again then one drag off set view target with blend and then we're gonna drag in the cameras get drag off from the cameras get a copy and then we're gonna set connect the blue pin to the new target and then from the target we're gonna get a reference to self and then we're gonna set the blend time to half a second we're gonna drag off and then look for create widget the widget we're going to create is the main menu oh we didn't create it sorry okay let me click this node head back to the main menu level head over to the widgets and then in the widgets we need to create a new blueprint cross user widget wb underscore main 
menu uh, while we're here we might as well create the settings widget as well so with the main menu selected Control d and then we're just going to rename this to settings and then we're just going to save all again and then we're going to open up the widget for the main menu we're going to add a canvas panel in the canvas panel we're going to add a horizontal box in the horizontal box we're going to add a button and we're going to add a text block and then we're going to select the button in the hierarchy Control d to duplicate it and then you want to take the horizontal box set its anchor to the bottom of the screen the entire bottom of the screen and then just resize it and then just move it down to the bottom somewhere we can make this look nice later select the buttons inside set them to flow rename the buttons this button is going to be called settings and the other button is going to be called play so on the left we have the play button on the right we have the settings and then we just rename the text blocks accordingly and then also stylize them to match the rest of the buttons with that done we're going to compile save and then head over to the graph and then in the graph we're going to select the play button one click add settings one click so for the settings we're going to drag off and then we're going to say remove from parent after the remove from parent we're going to drag off and then say create widget the widget we're going to be creating is the settings although it's empty we're going to populate it in a future video and then from the return value drag off and then add to viewport so that is everything and then by the play we're going to just drag off and then say open level by object reference and then the level opening is the garage level and then that's it compile and save and then we're going to head back to the bp main menu controller so now here by the set view target with land drag off and then create widget the widget we're creating is the main menu and then from the return value add to viewport and then after the add to viewport we're going to say set input mode ui only by the player controller drag off and then look for reference to self and then by the in with in widget to focus drag off from the create widget return value and then connect it to there and then there will be everything you can compile and save head back to the main menu level so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the blueprint and then we are going to drag in the bp display mesh just put it into the level put it at zero lift it up a bit so it sits somewhere here and then what we're going to do is take the camera actor and then position it so that it looks at the vehicle you can choose whatever angle you want i'll go with this angle so with the with that put we are gonna do the code for the display mesh in the um, display mesh bp so what we're gonna do is here by the details panel under skeleton mesh asset we're gonna set we're gonna clear this back to none head over to the event graph and then we're gonna first create a couple of variables so first variable we're gonna create is the pda vehicle so this is gonna be a reference to the pda display mesh object reference and then it's gonna be of type array under the variable type we're gonna make it an array then we're gonna compile save and then by default value where it says pda values we're gonna add in here we're gonna add the da sports car then we're gonna compile and save and then we're going to create a new function so under the functions create a new function the function we're going to create is set skeletal mesh and then for this function we are going to drag in the pda vehicles hold control drag it in and then from there we're going to drag off and then get a copy copy zero drag off from there we're going to get play mesh and then we're going to drag in the skeletal mesh by the components drag that in get and then from the skeletal mesh drag off and then set skeletal mesh asset and then the new mesh is going to be the display mesh and then connect the execution pins that's it drag over everything add a comment set skeletal display mesh then we're going to compile save we're also going to add two other functions we're going to add say load dm body color and then the other function is going to be load dm wheel color for these two, we are gonna have to get the code from the sports car. So just open up the sports car folder, open up the sports car blueprint. And then the code for this is gonna be the load functions. 
for the body and wheels so we're just gonna drag over this we'll select everything besides the wheel load and the mesh because we're gonna have to replace that but everything else needs to be selected and then Control c head over to the display mesh blueprint make sure you have the correct function selected so we are currently with the body and then paste the code connect the execution pins and then we're gonna see here that the save game variable is not yet delete it and then drag off from the sbp save game drag off promote the variable we're gonna leave it as it is and then just connect the execution pin and the blue pin and then for the mash we don't need that what we need is the skeletal mesh so hold control drag in the skeletal mesh and then connect the skeletal mesh to the target for the create dynamic material as well as by the kit material and then that should be everything we're gonna compile save head back to the sports car and then now we're gonna select the wheel load code so make everything make sure everything selected besides the engine load and the mesh you can just select that Control c head back to the display mesh blueprint head over to the wheel load function Control v and then just drag it out connect the execution pins drag in the skeletal mesh kit and then connect that to the target for the create dynamic material and the get material make sure everything is fine okay so we're going to compile save head over to the event graph and then in the event graph by the event begin play we're going to drag in the set skeletal mesh function first connect that and then it doesn't matter whether you want to load the wheel or the body first it doesn't really matter we just need to set the skeletal mesh first and then load in the colors i'm going to compile save and then we're going to head over to the level save all so now we're going to test it out and see if it works so after saving play the level so now we have loaded in the display mesh as you see we have loaded in the body color and the wheel color that pretty much makes sure that everything works i uh, also need to see if it actually goes to where we want it to go so play the level again i'm gonna hit settings there's currently nothing here i'm just set that up in a future video and then let's see if we say play okay so we do go to the garage level any errors okay there are no errors so now i'm just gonna uh, customize the level a bit i'm done setting up the level i have four lights four rectangular lights i have this one over here on the left which is the main one the strongest one of the bunch then i got two over on this side just to add a little drum light to it and then i have the one at the top because otherwise it would look a bit too dark if i put off the top one you can see it's a little bit dark this is what it looks like without the top light and then this is what it looks like with the top so it just gives it a little extra bit of light in the scene so not as dark that's pretty much everything we wanted to set up and then i also created this little intro so if you look at it this is what it looks like the display mesh is being displayed the wheel colors and body colors are being loaded and then if you press play you get taken to the garage level and then everything else works out that's it for this video and until the next one.